So let's get started. So if we're going to have a default, if we're going to save a default um, path, then we better go ahead and put uh, the button in. So let's start there. So here we got our, this is our, let's, let's put some labels in here. Now that it's getting a little bit bigger, why not? This is the GUI title. Here, these two lines are kind of together. We got a button and a label. So, um, uh, Uh, these two lines are together. This is the uh, file. <laughs> so that's a that's good for now. Maybe we'll put in some uh, comment here for this is the uh, run. Oh, that's nice. So let's do this button here first. So we're going to do file in <clears throat> button, and then we're going to do a, a set. Oops, in button. That'll be good. So let's uh, let's make the button ttk dot button. On the root uh, text, set as default. I was using the using the the application. I like to use it. I mean, that's why I built it. If you can, if you um can code your own software when you need your own software, yeah, forget it. That's that's great. It does solve a problem for me, um, which is nice. So maybe it can solve a problem. So I'm going to make that's a um, the name of the function that we're going to create here in just a second. So if it solves a um, <clears throat> a problem for me, maybe uh, let's pack it. Maybe in the future it could solve a problem for other people. I hope other people can use this software. And it helps them out. So set default in. Let's go ahead and make uh, a, a function up here. All right. <clears throat> so this the set default in button. Let's take a look at what we got. Let's. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see if this works. Okay, so here's our application right now. <clears throat> it's a little ugly. It's gonna it's getting more crowded, so we'll go ahead and re refactor this. We'll change the layout here uh, and later in this video. You have the choose input button, and then when you choose that, <clears throat> it populates it in there. And then uh, set as default button is there. So. <clears throat> So we're going to have to get information. Uh, let's get information from a text file. How's that sound? Lots of ways to do this. A new file. We'll just call this in text. No, no, no. We'll call it default. Txt. <laughs> Oops. So then. Uh, to get the um, to to save the the whatever it is, um, <clears throat> we have our button. <clears throat> we want to save when when you select the um, it's going to be the whatever is in name directory in. So we could do that. So with open. And uh, so w when you do the width open, it's going to call the, um, it takes an argument, um, what your text, your text document is named. It's, well, technically it's the path to it and its name, but 
we're going to keep it in the same folder all the time. So we just put the name. And then uh, we're going to write to it and then uh, as file. Well, with open, you don't have to um, close the file, uh, but it is in this um, this uh, uh, <clears throat> little like uh, op operator style um, syntax. So <clears throat> file dot write, and uh, we're going to take <clears throat> we have name directory in. And that's what we're going to be putting into it. And we have to call the get method. Should do it for that. Let's see if that works. Uh, so I'm going to run the application. I'm going to put in a uh, something here. Let's, let's do this. And then set as default. Uh, well, I could, I could print it out. <clears throat> But uh, I'm pretty sure that's working. Um, let's let's just um, oh we can look in here. That's okay. There it is. So um, this is the file, the text file that we made, and that's what's in it, and that was not in it before. So that's one way to check it. <clears throat> so let's go down. Let's make our other button for the out. So. Set. doesn't like me again for some reason. I'll just write it set. Default. Well, it's probably because I <clears throat> got to end that quote. <clears throat> And we need to define this function. Uh, so set default out. It's going to be uh, very similar to this other one. Let's go ahead and make our uh, default. Okay, so we have a default in, a default out. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, so let's test this. If I um, if I open this, uh, so we got our two buttons set as default buttons. <clears throat> Choose default. So let's pick one that's set as default. And if we go to in, okay, so let's save that. Go to our application. <clears throat> Choose output path, and uh, we'll pick a, a place. That's nice. Set as default, and then if we go to our, yep. So that's uh, that's populating. Uh, very nice. So with these little uh, functions here and these buttons, we can now um, uh, save the information that we selected into these these text files. So now we have to pull. So now what we want to do is pull it out when the application opens, and we'll just do that in the main loop. 
So um, I'm going to use with open again. So with open. All I'm going to do here is take that what's in there and save it to uh, to these uh, in right here. Just wire it in here so it auto populates with this. <clears throat> so of course we got to open up the. Um, File the information's in. This time it's going to be right. <clears throat> R for right. <clears throat> I mean, read. <laughs> R for read. That's file. And then, uh, so it's just uh, saved. We're going to um, make a new variable here. This is a saved. Uh, default and and we're going to make it set it equal to what's in the file file dot read and then when we take that we can take that and we can just um, put it in right here uh, that's gonna work there it is <clears throat> so let's uh let's see if that works okay so I'm gonna open the Open the application. Well, I got to close it down for last time. Open up the application. Choose an in input path. Um, so looks like it was already working. So so there's. So I'm gonna quit. Open it up. So there's. It's already pulling this from that text because we had already put that in here earlier. So we need to reset it. And the, the initial value is going to be um, none selected. And that, sh that should be the same for both of these. Uh, of course, the other one we haven't wired up yet, so it's not going <clears> to. <throat> the initial value is none selected. And then when we go in here, um, we can run it. And we see <clears throat> none selected. <laughs> Takes a second for that change to go into effect. Uh, it must be because it saves it when I run it. I have the auto save on when it runs. So none selected. And then I choose a path. <clears throat> Let's choose this, this one. And then set as default, and we go to our in directory. That's it changed it in there. And then if I close out, so I quit out. We have that as our default value, <clears throat> and I run it again, and it's going to have uh, the same. So it's it's ready to go with the previous whatever I set before as the default. Uh, so that's going to make it nice to use in the several different situations. So let's wire out the out. So open <clears throat> default. A new little uh, variable here to save that that string, and then we're going to use that variable right away, right in here uh, for that string. So it's just save default out, and we're good to go. Okay, so that that makes that all nice and tidy. Good. Okay, let's just <clears throat> so now it's a it's working, but it's a bit ugly. So before, when it was just choose the input path, choose the output path, um, and then start the tool and quit, it was nice. It was nice having everything packed in here. But I think it's time to start making it look a little bit nicer. So we're going to line these up. Uh, these, and then we're going to keep this one in the middle and these two in the middle. 
But in order to do that, we had to change this pack to a uh, grid. Uh, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to... Oh, there's not that many of them. Let's just let's just uh, write it out longhand. I like to do use the um, refactoring tools, but um, since we got we got time, what are, what are we going to do today other than this? So uh, it's called grid is what we're going to be using, <laughs> and uh, you have to do grid on all of them. So let's go grid, and then it's going to ask for a. Um, row and a column. I'm going to do it this way to make it go a bit faster. And that way I can just take this and replace these packs. I think we got all of them. <clears throat> There's not a lot when you think about it. Um, So let's see here. Um, this one's going to be row, column one. These three here. Oh, I need to change this one. And this one here, these packs. So these three here, it's going to be. Um, a column, a row two, a row one. We start counting at, start counting at zero. So row one. Let's do the rows first, and then this one will be row two. Uh, the run tool button will be row three. Oh, we got to do that here. Row three, and then this last one will be row four. So zero, one, two, three, four. So everything's going to be at least how, how we got it here. Um, so we got z column zero, column one, and column two. That's going to put them in their little place. That's going to put them in their place. Uh, one and two. I don't know if you've ever used um, TK Enter to like make a, a a design, like something that's designed. But if you have it, it's like eighty percent design and twenty percent coding. Uh, you have to. It's like um, the numbers you pick will be based on what looks good. Uh, so one is the middle. So I think we got it. So column one is the middle for all these guys. What do we do here? Okay. And um, take a look at how it looks now. I'm I don't know. Okay, so we got we got these in line, and then we got these two down. So let's add a little bit more styling. Of course. I have the luxury. I, I've gone through and I've made it look nice before this video, so I know what the code is going to look like. So I'm going to put that in here. Um, we need a. It's it's a thing called sticky. Uh, east west. And that makes the the button stretch. Um, to make that look nice. Um, I'm going to put a pad in on this um, run tool button. I change this uh, geometry to uh, 250 height. And then I'm going to add a title because um, I think uh, I want to try making this so that people use it. I don't know if people want to use this or not, but 
and I'll give them the option. So these lines of code here, root, column, configure, um, this just makes each of those rows, or whatever row you specify, it gives it a weight corresponding to the others. Let's take a look and see how it looks now. Oh, very nice. OK. So it's looking a little bit better. It's actually almost there. Uh, so we'll quit that. Um, <clears throat> there is a really cool thing in uh, Kinter where you can put a relief. So I'm going to put a relief right here. So right after in this um, label box. I'm going to put relief. And one of the reliefs that is in in the soft in T Kinter is sunken. Let's do that for both of these. Now let's take a look at it. Oh, I got an error. Perhaps you forgot a comma. Oh, I did forget a comma. Thank you so much, editor, for telling me that. That was great. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So that's nice that it's sunken. And uh, let's see. And let's also make these stretch. So I need my um, sticky here. here. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, uh, it, it doesn't like not being closed down. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, okay. Hey, that looks pretty good. I like that. Uh, Uncha, batch background, removal tool, choose input path. It's working. <clears throat> Choose output path. It's working. <clears throat> I think I have to, um, I think for this to work better, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> in here we have uh, the uh, <clears throat> Before we, we saved it to an identifier and a save number, but this isn't going to work if you use the same out directory for multiple batches. So I'm going to make this equal to the pick, the pick name. It's just the same name that it was before you started. And if I, yeah, maybe I'll leave it as no BG and then the pick. That way, I'm, you could you could save it to the same directory, I think. Um, if I'll tr I'll try that. If it doesn't work, then I'll then I'll put an error. I'll put a a conditional that you can't save you, the in directory and out directory it can't be the same directory. <clears throat> um, so let's just make it equal to the same name as as what it was before. That way, if you have a good name for your image it saves it to the new file and it's the same name and um, you like that name uh, so I will keep it that way so input path <clears throat> so since we're doing since we did that we can take out this save number because I was just being used as an identifier uh, so that makes the code nice and nice and tidy let's uh, let's run it one more time. So let's choose the input path um, as uh, this uh, in 
this has all the gold coins in it. And then we'll do the output path as this uh, uh, out. Let's take a look at this. OK, so let's run. Let's run it. OK, so we're getting our images without the backgrounds in the file. And they have the same name <laughs> as they did uh, before we started. So that looks like it's working. Let's let's try something. So I'm going to quit this. What I'm going to do is uh, go in to I'm going to start this, and then I'm going to pick. Oh, I need a <laughs> um, AI content. We'll do <clears throat> in as the in, and we'll do uh, in as the out. Let's let's see if we run into some bugs here. Let's set these as defaults because that's what we're doing. And uh, let's see what happens if we run this. Um, of course, if if we do get a, a problem here, then all I have to do, whoops, what am I doing? If we do get a problem here, then all I have to do is put in a, an exception. Uh, so in start background removal tool. And it does it. It doesn't like that. Oh, maybe maybe it is working. Oh, not working. Okay, so I'll put in a, a little one-liner code uh, so that you when you, if you try to. Oh, well, let's do it right now. No time like the present. <clears throat> Well, in order for to do that, we'll probably need a another label. That'll be in another video. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.